Hello. Welcome to the latest Newman fan motor. This motor is rotating it at 120 RPM. Right now, we are measuring lows and highs of our current measured in amps. We have the 20 amp setting and we see the decimal point. We are measuring from a low of 0 amps to a high of 7 amps. Now when it goes back and forth between 0 and a higher number sometimes we go say from 0 to 0 0.07, 0 to 0 0.05, 0 to 0 0.06, 0 to 0.06, or 4, or 7, or 5, or 7, etc. So now we can try it again. So that was from 5 to 7, 6, there's a 7 there, a 5, a 7, a 7, a 5, a 6, a 7, a 3, that was a 6, but anyway. Alright, now we could say the average current then is halfway between 0 .00 and 0 .06. And this is in amps, so we take the amps and multiply it by the voltage, and what we get is the apparent power. But what we have is batteries, and we got not only a, a resistive load, but we also have an inductive load, which drives the fan. So I think we should just simply take the product of the voltage and the current as it is, because, I mean, the voltage here is a DC battery voltage although it switched on and off um, so I would just take the voltage and the batteries multiplied by the current to get the power input so right now we might as well take this out at the right time no oh, okay I guess it wasn't the right time but okay Now, you measure the voltage. There we go. We've got two hundred forty eight volts. At the one thousand volt setting. We got the five coils here. Each of these coils up to 4,000 feet. So we got about six kilometers of wire in this motor. Over here are the batteries. And they are connected in series, all of them. And there are my connections here for each ribbon cable. So I connect each of these conductors in series as well. And my commutator right there is what I showed that in my previous video. Basically, it connects to the end of the coil through the shaft and to this. What this is a uh, actually has. A bunch of strings I, uh, I got from an uh, old ribbon cable and I wrapped it around this twist tie to break the commutator. Now I don't have uh, one of those things where it would take current and when it, uh, say when this circuit breaks, it would take the current back to the battery. I don't have that. I just have a uh, jerry rig segmented commutator that. I just made up with wire wrapped around this thing here and connects back to the battery pack. When I close this, it would turn on and then it will turn off and then it will turn on again. All right. We'll go ahead and switch. First 
I'll move it over here. There. Now, I believe that compared to my previous videos where I had this running also at 120 RPM, this band has a stiffer component to it. While the RPM might be the same, so you would think, okay, the, uh, the, the cubic feet per minute of airflow would be the same. But what I'm feeling is a higher pressure and I think if you look at my previous videos, you'll be able to hear it, literally, as a difference compared to, you know, comparing this, where I have five coils instead of four. So with four coils, the force was less, I think, than compared to now, even though the speed is the same. Now, I, I did a preliminary calculation of what happens if I take a voltage times a current. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to take 0 0.03 and multiply by we got 249 volts. So we got 747 no 7.47 7 as our product. So that means this motor is using about 7.5 watts of power to do this fan. Now, we can go ahead and turn on this fan up here, which I was basically raised with. I used to have this fan on all night long. Well, it gave me a lot of sniffles, and I thought, okay, maybe it's a, I have a cold, but no, when you have a fan running when you're sleeping, sometimes your, your nose tries to develop some defense against it. And so I developed some congestion because I would have this fan on during the night when I was young. Now I'm not sleeping in this room right now, I sleep somewhere else, not here, uh, most days because of the remodeling there's a lot of stuff going on. Here is this fan, you can see, and we have a sense of how far we up. Now as comparison we'll put it next to this fan. Now, compared to the other video, I have this fan uh, more inwards, okay? So, theoretically, if I move this fan to the side, this will blow harder for what I've got here. Alright? So, we've got these several things going on here. Alright. And we'll compare... As you can note, the pitch of the noise is different. This is due to several factors, such as the pitch of the blades. Here we have about a three inch pitch. Over here, I'm not quite sure what the pitch is, but I know it's smaller. It's about an inch or so. So, and then the, the fan diameter here is 32 inches. Over here, it's 36. This is made of fiberglass blades, and this one is made of wood. Alright, those are the comparisons between that fan and this fan. Last minute check of the current we are drawing. Okay, it appears to be, now remember it hits 7, and then it hits 5, and 6, and whatever. So it basically hasn't changed. That's all for now.